Hey, here's today's tip to help you be prepared for an emergency situation. Enjoy. In this video, I will show you how to use bear spray quickly and effectively. But first, let me address the elephant in the room. I know you're thinking, but he's a Brit. What does he know about bear attacks? The worst thing he's come across in the wild is a nutty squirrel. Well, rest assured, I've spent the last 15 years in the Canadian backcountry and I've had several bear encounters and I'm still here, so stay with me. I've got some great tips, I promise. First, let me briefly answer the question. Does bear spray really work? Well, in an emergency or survival situation, bear spray may end up saving your life. It can be one of the most effective ways of deterring an approaching bear at close range. Most bear attacks happen because you stumble across them by surprise. To avoid these types of attacks, you can use your voice by either yelling out loud every few minutes as you're walking along or singing out loud. And if you're with others, you can talk loudly and make lots of noise too. As well as triggering a bear encounter by surprising them, bears can also stalk and charge at you from behind. So my first tip is to always keep your bear spray in a holster that's attached to your body. On either a belt or a chest harness where it's easily accessible. If it's in your backpack or a shelter or on a bike or a quad, it may not be near you and can take too much time to grab. And believe me, you will need it in a hurry. Bear spray could be your last line of defense. Remember, a bear doesn't want to have a conflict with you any more than you do with it. But if you do end up in a situation where a bear is either charging or approaching you fast, like any survival tool, you need to know how to use it quickly and effectively. Don't wait for a crisis. Know what to do before it happens. Tip two, make sure you have actual bear spray and not pepper spray. As bear spray has been designed to use on bears specifically, it may also be helpful if needed on other wildlife like coyotes or mountain lions. Tip three, make sure you check the expiry date. Bear spray is usually good for around two to three years. Oh, and don't spray yourself or your equipment either. It's not insect repellent. Tip four, practice drawing the bear spray from its holster, like in the Western films, without actually spraying it, of course. So with these tips in mind, here's what you can do in five steps if you encounter a bear. Step one, even though your heart may be pounding and you've got feelings of fear and an adrenaline rush or serious bowel movements, do not run. Step two, remove your bear spray from its holster and take off the safety clip. Step three, keep one hand on the trigger and the other hand holding the canister firmly, as it may kick back a little if you use it and have it pointing towards the direction of the bear. Step four, back away slowly, avoiding eye contact. Now's not the time to yell though, as it's got a bead on you so talk to the bear as you're backing away in a nice, soft, confident voice. Something like, hey bear, I mean you no harm. I don't taste very nice either, honest. A lot of the time at this point, the bear will move away and not bother you and not see you as a threat. However, if the bear approaches you or charges, you may need to use your bear spray. Some brands can be used at more extended range, depending on the weather and the wind so check and know these details beforehand. Standard sprays are most effective at around 13 to 16 feet, four to five meters. If you spray when the bear is too far away, it will not likely have any effect. And be prepared, if there's a wind blowing towards you too, some of the bear spray may come back in your face. Step five, when the bear is in range, deploy the spray in two second bursts, keeping your hands as steady as possible. This step is essential, as you don't want to keep your finger on the trigger and spray continuously, as you only get around eight seconds of bear spray in a regular canister, and you may need to use it again. Oh, and never buy a bear spray canister that has less than 225 grams in it. And here's my final tip. But first, at the end of the video, let me know in the comments if this information has been helpful, or if you have any other great tips to add. Aim the spray downwards, ever so slightly, below the bear's face. 
as a bear tends to lower its head when it's charging at you. If you've used your bear spray effectively, it will cause the bear to have temporary loss of sight and some breathing difficulties. These distractions should give you some time to remove yourself from the area and retreat the way you came. But remember to keep your spray ready in case the bear comes at you again. Think like a yo-yo survivor and be prepared for when you're on your own. And share this video with your family and friends too, so they can be smart and be ready in case of a bear encounter. Stay safe.